welcome to Game of Combat. This is Murdered Soul Suspect, part 10. Where we left off, we had just come from the church because we spoke to the witness. She's a medium. Yes, as you can see us and hear us. And, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty much all the interesting stuff that happened because it took most of the damn episode anyway. And I also accidentally made the episode a little longer, like six or seven minutes longer. I just got too much into the game and wasn't paying attention to my time. But that's, that's not a big deal. Not a big deal, right? Let's get to the police department. I like the way it's kind of open world style-ish. I mean, I can go back to places and do any side cases I missed by the looks of it. What are you? You're pretty. Are you pretty? I did this. I talked him into this. Becoming a cop. I was lying dead in the street because of me. Ah, it ain't your fault, you cunt. Well, it could be your fault. I don't give a shit. You know, let's not go this way, because it's not the way for me to go, and I don't need to explore places that I don't need to explore just yet. I want to pick this up, though. Demons? No demons. Good. The day we met. I still remember the first time I laid eyes on that man. Ronan, Ronan had all that bad boy swagger, and I admit I liked it. But what I liked even more was the heart underneath the facade that he couldn't hide. He was a guy from a rough neighborhood, but it hadn't hardened him as much as he let on. Okay. So I'm a tough guy, but I ain't so tough. Hey, you. So nice to be away from the big city with all its problems. Right. This city has problems, too. Fine. Roland pops the question. Today he asked, and I honestly didn't know what to say. I want to be with him. I love him. But when he asked me to marry him, when he asked to marry me, I found myself unable to say anything. Like my voice was frozen, and he just knelt there. My silence crushing him, and then he got up. It was five minutes before I could tell him I needed to think. But have I blown it now? No, because he got married. I've already been to the church. i seen it. Hey, you. I should go home. Now. Okay, I'll leave you alone. I ain't gonna bother you. Let me go home. You, you need it. Oh, they're scattered all over the place. Yeah, we encountered these a few episodes ago near that uh, woman who died trying to save people in a rowboat. Something like that. See, so, yeah, I thought there'd be all around that area, but I completely forgot about it. And so now, where we just found one. Let's have a quick look around. I like to explore. I still haven't checked out that digital map. Oh, hey, you. Get this thing fast. No, get... There we go. Where can we go with you? And then where? I hope this is important. And I hope it isn't something I actually have to do later on and I just have done this pointlessly. Jump! Wait, no, I want, oh, I can reveal it as the cat, that's cool. I did it just to collect that one thing? Okay. Pretty pointless, I suppose. Alright, anyway, on to the police department. Fine. Judgment House plaque. Known as Judgment House, the former residence of Judge John... Half one? I don't know how to pronounce that. Who at times held court in his own parlor room. He kept the accused locked in his cellar, as was custom in colonial times. His unfortunate role in the witch trials of 1692 became a permanent blotch on his name. Well, not going that cut this after. Oh, no, I'm not going that way. Ronan, it's own control. 
a bastard. Mine. More reading. Salem is supposed to be a quiet place, the kind of place where you can escape the problems of a big city, but it's getting to where I don't feel safe walking outside at night here anymore. I talked with Ronan about it, and he tries to assure me that he's the most dangerous guy in this town. But the bravado doesn't help much. Something is sick about this place. More reading? Okay, not reading. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Let's see what we got. Anything else around here? Gimme, gimme, gimme that good shit. Ah, I'm in a cannon. <laughs> By the fucking walls down. There's gotta be something else. Wait, did you just... Is that a ghost? No, 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 you were just... Oh, this ghostly what stuff isn't really here. No. No, couldn't have been. Unless it is here. Because, uh, she just walked through this stuff. Right. Game. Well lit places should be okay. Wait, I saw you earlier. Are you the woman that said I need to go home? This doesn't look like your home. I think. I don't even know what a home looks like. Hey, you. What have I done? No, 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 no. Rick and Lord, they're, they're dead. It's all my fault. Hey, hey. Calm down for a second and talk to me. I'm comfy. Where we go. Uh, oh, uh, Brad. Good. Now, tell me what happened. I don't know. We were out in the town blowing off some steam. One drink turned into three, and three turned into who knows how many. God, the details are hazy. I. Uh, I must have been driving Rick and Laura home when... Oh, God! I killed them! I'll never forgive myself for doing this! You don't know if you did. You said it yourself. The details are hazy. Now, I can take a look around here and see if anything jumps out at me. I don't know. God, it might what scare you to I death. Done? Hmm. <laughs> Clever. This must be Brad's car. It's not looking good. Free clues. Okie dokie. Keep forgetting I can walk through certain things. Huh. It's not much, but it's something. Gas station's not far from here. I should check it Who's out. Who's messaging me? Who's messaging me? Should I check? Let's check. Can I check? I can't bring them the Steam shit on this game. Apologies to whoever is Steam chatting me. I'll, I'll get to you after this episode. Not that you, you can hear this. Because <laughs> this is just being recorded now. and I, I'm just... No. Let's, let's leave the confusion out of it. <laughs> So I have to come back through here to find out who was driving so I can't piece all the clues together right now. So we gotta get to the gas station. I'll go there sometime. I don't know if we've passed it. I don't think so. But, you know, we'll get to it when we get to it. So forgive me if I don't do all the side quests. I mean, I was planning to, but... With the fucked up checkpoint system, I'll do them. And the next time I get around to recording a couple of episodes at once... I will have to investigate that shit again. I just don't, so. Yeah, I hope there's no, like, bonus for having no side quest done, because I won't have that by the time I finish.
I didn't know you were such a lightweight. So weird. Somebody was alive, and now they're not. It happens all the time, lady. You look very familiar. She looks a lot like some actress. I don't know her name. What was she in? I, um, I don't know. If I ever met the killer in the street, I don't know what I'd do. Shit your pants and run home crying like a baby. Yeah, cap. <laughs> I mean cap. What? Oh. Uh gas station. Yeah. The SOC. Okay. Great. doing you're one of those door enthusiasts that I don't even want to look at your boner over that fucking door it's just not nah, it's horrible hey you reveal yourself Smashing sound. That doesn't help at all. I just keep adding oil faster than the leak. Should last another year. Room better be clean when I get home. Yeah, I thought I'd be leaving. Right, okay, so we're missing two more clues. Who saw who was driving? If cops aren't safe, who is safe? Right, I'm not finding any more clues around here. Maybe if we walk a little faster. Can I go down this way? Didn't think so. I have no clue what to make of it. Mm, no, I I don't know. How are we doing for time anyway? Right, okay. Uh, seeing as this episode's nearly over, let's get to the police station, get for a cutscene. Hopefully a checkpoint, because I do plan for this to be last one I record today. Now that you'll see this today, I record it. <laughs> I probably would have recorded some more parts by the time this is up. I don't know. Was it this one? No, um... I think it might be this one. And for once I felt safe out at night. All the stories you told me about being the most dangerous man in Salem, they felt true. No one could touch us because no one could touch him. I was with him. Am with him. Will be with him. I know it. So I think that's the one I just picked up. I didn't get to check at the time. So yeah, let's go for here. Take whatever cutscene we need. Trials. Hopefully a checkpoint. Because I don't have patience to fucking find those clues and shit again for both those places. Salem Police Department, enter. Let's go. Strange coming back here now, like this. A place I used as a crutch to get through the tough times when I found myself suddenly alone again. Funny how history repeats itself. Not tonight. And I was the first time he used a gun. This guy relies on close proximity. So remember, if you approach him, it gives him power. But, sir, if we can't approach him, how do we arrest him? Remember your training. He's a wanted cop killer now. You can shoot him on sight. <laughs> That's nice. Hell <laughs> killer war. Now for the game is crashing on me then. Should see if there are any new leads in my mind. Is it safe for checkpoints coming up? I never pay enough attention 
the episode is definitely over so um thank you for watching be sure to like comment share and subscribe also follow the channel on facebook and blog links both those pages in the description below have yourselves a nice day stay fabulous and i will see you guys in the next video good bye